preview time. So let's take a look at what's coming your way.
What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, exclusively here, as always, on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade J.J. Williams, and we're more than halfway through the Freddy Krueger saga. Today, we're going to take a look at The Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 5, The Dream Child, starring Robert England, Lisa Wilcox, Kelly Jo Minter, Erica Anderson, Danny Hassel, Beatrice Boppel, Whit Herford, and Joe Seeley. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And as I said during the introduction, we're a little bit more than halfway through the original Elm Street saga. Today, we're going to take a look at Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5, The Dream Child. Now, this kind of wraps up the little mini trilogy here with the Dream Warriors, the Dream Master, and this is the Dream Child. And as our movie opens, once again, it's one year after the events of the previous entry. Alice and Dan have started dating, and there is no sign of Freddy Krueger. One day, while taking a shower after having sex with Dan, Alice has a vision of herself in a nun's habit with a name tag that reads Amanda Krueger. She is inside of a strange asylum where she is attacked by patients, but she wakes up. The next day, Alice graduates high school alongside her new friends, Greta, an aspiring but reluctant supermodel, Mark, a comic book fan, and Yvonne, a hospital volunteer and swimmer. Alice confides her nightmare to Dan, who tells her that she is in control of her dreams. On her way to work, Alice finds herself back at the asylum, where she sees Amanda giving birth to a gruesomely deformed baby. Alice tries to collect the baby before it escapes, but it sneaks out of the operating room. Alice then follows the baby into the church where she defeated Freddy in the previous film. The baby finds Freddy's remains and quickly grows into an adult, hinting to Alice that he has found the key to coming back. Alarmed, she contacts Dan, who falls asleep en route to see her. Freddy attacks and electrocutes Dan turning him into a frightful creature before veering him into oncoming traffic. Alice sees Dan's body come to life and taunt her just before she faints. Walking into the hospital, Alice hears the news of Dan's death and that she is pregnant with his child. During the night, she is visited by a young boy named Jacob, but the next day, Yvonne tells Alice that there are no children on her floor, nor is there a children's ward at the hospital. When Alice tells her friends about Freddy and his lineage, Yvonne refuses to listen. However, Mark and Greta are a little bit more supportive. That afternoon, at a dinner party at her home, Greta falls asleep at the table. She dreams of herself snapping at her mother and ranting over her controlling nature before Freddy finally arrives and forces Greta to eat her own organs before choking her in front of a laughing audience. Back in the real world, Greta falls down, dead, in front of her mother and their guests. Yvonne and Alice then visit Mark, who is grieving Greta's death and a rift forms between them. Mark falls asleep and is nearly killed by Freddy, but Alice saves him before seeing Jacob once again. Jacob then hints that Alice is his mother, and Alice requests that Yvonne get her an early ultrasound, where she discovers that Freddy is using Jacob as a conduit to attack her friends even while she is awake. And 
that he has been feeding him his victims to try to make Jacob more like Freddy. Yvonne and Dan's parents still believe that Alice is crazy, to the point where Dan's parents try to insist that she give them the baby when it's born, which Alice flat out refuses. Alice and Mark then research Kruger and the nun Amanda. Realizing that Amanda was trying to stop Freddy, they investigate her whereabouts and Alice goes to sleep, hoping to find Amanda at the asylum. While there, Freddy lures her away by threatening Yvonne, who has fallen asleep in a jacuzzi. Alice rescues Yvonne, who finally now believes her. Mark then falls asleep and is pulled into a comic book world where Freddy turns him into a paper cutout and slashes him to pieces. Alice goes to bed in order to find Freddy and save her son. Realizing that Freddy has been hiding in her every time she falls asleep, she draws Freddy out from within herself. Yvonne finds Amanda's remains at the asylum, and then Amanda joins the fight in the dream world, encouraging Jacob to use the power that Freddy has been giving him. Jacob destroys Freddy, and his infant form is absorbed by his mother, while Alice picks up a baby Jacob. Warning Alice away, Amanda seals Freddy away in time. Several months later, Jacob Daniel Johnson is enjoying a picnic with his mother, grandfather, and Yvonne. Nearby, some children are playing jump rope and singing Freddy's rhyme, hinting at the imminent return of one Freddy Krueger as our movie comes to its end. Now, in my opinion, this is where it really falls off the rails. Like, I was so bored watching this one that I was multitasking and doing other work for the channel while watching this. And it's been at least five years since I've seen this movie. So I really should have been paying more attention, but it was so boring to me that I could just listen and I didn't have to really follow the television, which is a sad statement for me because all the way up till this point, even at its weakest, I still found something to like and some strengths in this. When the best thing about this is the fact that the little mini trilogy, Dream Warriors, Dream Master, Dream Child is now over, sad statement. I was happy that Alice was back, that Lisa Wilcox was back as Alice. That part I enjoyed, but everything else I really could have done without. Like, it just bored me, you know? And and I'm getting tired of the girls and the jump rope. it's, It's gotten to the point where it's like watching Bruce Wayne's parents get shot in the alley. Like, seriously, do we have to see that every movie? It's not that serious. And if you're going to insist on putting it in there, be more discreet about it. Don't shove it down our throats. You know, while they were having the activity in the picnic and the grandpa was playing with little Jacob and Yvonne and Alice are there and kind of talking and blah, blah, blah. Have the kids in the backdrop, you know, and and as the scene fades out, maybe the song gets louder and louder to the nine, 10, never sleep again. But making sure that's the forefront in the shot as we end is just shoving it down the throat, and I don't think it's necessary. Maybe I'm wrong in my thought process on this one, but this one, out of the ones I've talked about, is by and far the weakest. So much so that when it comes to my rating for this one, I'm going to give it two out of five stars. 
when you figure that everything I've talked about so far has been three and a half or better, two is definitely a significant drop in rating for this chapter of the Elm Street saga. What do you guys think of A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child? Let me know. If you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. But let's have that conversation. Let's have that discussion. Let's have that debate between host and fan slash viewer in the comment box below. And make sure you guys tune in tomorrow right here to the Casa D18 Studios channel for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And it's another unofficial double feature day. As first, we'll be taking a look at Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, starring Robert England, Lisa Zane, Leslie Dean, Sean Greenblatt, Brecken Meyer, Ricky Dean Logan, and cameo appearances by Johnny Depp, Roseanne Barr, Tom Arnold, and Alice Cooper. And then at the top of the half hour, it'll be the next chapter in the She-Hulk Attorney at Law saga. What will be happening with Jennifer Walters, a.k.a. She-Hulk, this week? You'll have to tune in to Renegades Reviews to find out. You're not going to want to miss out on any of that content right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, right here on Renegades Reviews. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, the next chapter in She-Hulk Attorney at Law. Got to make sure you tune in to check that out. To all my loyal fans and viewers out there, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is turned on. That way you're alerted every time a video drops right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel. Make sure that you're alerted every time we go live right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, as is the case with Stat Boy Sports Bar, Open Mic Night, and our pay-per-view slash PLE watch-along coverage. Make sure you share this video with your family, friends, loved ones, co-workers, movie fanatics that you know, cinephiles, fans of the Nightmare Saga, fans of Freddy Krueger, anybody you can think of that would enjoy my content in this movie review, share this video with them. It's the only way we're going to boost up my visibility in YouTube's algorithms so I can eventually get monetized by the end of the year. Thank you once again to everyone who joined me today. It means more to me than you'll ever know. And I will see you guys next time.